All right, hey, collective, how y'all doing out there today? Now, I do hope everything is going well out there in the La La Land. Let's try to pull from these cards today. Now, let me say thank you, thank you for all the super stickers, cash apps. Appreciate you so daggone much. The likes, subscribes, that means so much to me, guys, when you leave your comments and things like that. It does really make everything worth it. Now you have the Fire Guardian and Star Ancestors, ancestors coming out here. Now, this is telling you to ignite your passion and follow the voice of your soul. I love it. Now you could be a fire sign. You don't necessarily have to be. Now I do see spirit working with you. Now, this may be calling you to continue to work on your projects and things of that nature. Now, I've been doing a couple of pre-shuffles. Now, if you don't see the fruits of your labor just as yet, just know that things are working out for you in your highest good. I see it all through the cards. I see Many spiritual gifts coming your way. Yeah. Let's look at your in hermit mode. Continue to meditate, contemplate, and imagine the life that you want to live. The new things that you want to create. Just keep thinking about them, boo. Spirit hear you. The most I hear you. The universe feels your vibration. You know, that's how you plant seeds too. When you imagine, you bring it to you, you attract it. And just as I say that, telling y'all in the spring it's about to pop off see your seeds grow I'm telling you to follow the voice of your inner soul ignite your passion follow the voice of your inner soul and see your seeds grow with the seer at the bottom of the deck <laughs> see beyond your current situation boo telling you things are really working out for you mm -hmm. it's working out baby it's working out now let's pull three from here And you have liberation with ignite your passion. And a radical rebirth. Mining right up here on a start ancestor. And I told y'all this is all about your ascension. Those gifts. And maybe in an existing project that's about to take some type of transformation as well. Now, I kept saying um, all in a single afternoon. Now, that's usually how it's done. You know what I'm saying? It's just one day, just one minute it's like this, and then the next minute your life has totally changed. Yeah. I keep seeing that card. All in a single afternoon. It's from a smaller deck, but I was playing around with the cards today and, I, and it kept coming up. I think something's going to take you by surprise.
again. Things are starting to come into balance for you. This is my yacht. We're giving and receiving. And see your seeds grow. Now look at that. That's just too crazy. Look at that. I just love it. I love it. The manifestation is at the bottom of the deck. Can't make it up, y'all. And I just like the way the colors is just listen. You know it means something to me when the colors look like that. Like every this thing just came from the same hues. I love it. Can we get this two? Now, dynamism. Dynamism. Child, I can't say the dead one. It's just that they look too much alike until I know they got to go together. Even though I think you're going to be so grateful. I think you stay in gratitude. And I'm just looking at that circle. Something is about to come full circle. Something is about to hatch. This is the number 10, which indicates a new beginning. Y'all, I don't know what that is. Is, is, a, is it a bird? Is it a plant? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know. I have no idea. However, let's read what dynamism is talking about. Let's see. It's like the cards go too well together for them not to go together. I don't know, y'all. Tells you to take big effective action. And it's telling you to work on improving your health and vitality. A period of intense work is necessary to complete something. It's telling you to set goals now. Engage your talent and do not hide your great work. And telling you to ignite your passion to fire guardian and liberation. Now this is the number 37, which is a 10. Now you got 37 and 47 here. Is that 40? 43. 43. Now you got, this is the number 10. That's the number 10, and this is the number 10. 
However, you got 10 10 down here. For sure. Now, where's my phone at? Let me go. I want to read that with the angel number 10 10. Y'all know I forget. this is going to be kind of sweet short and to the point Now it says seeing 10 10 numbers means that you're on the right path. And it says you're on the verge of wrapping up a major cycle in your life. And you're ready to start something new. Okay. And it also says that the angels are protecting you from harm. And it also says, um, by doing so, they are bringing in unconditional love, purity, abundance, could show up in your life. If you feel lacking in these areas, keep seeing the number 1010. Don't give up the hope just yet. Well, It also says that it's time for love. And it also says in regards to manifestations that you're um, creating at an accelerated pace. So be careful and deliberate about what you set out to manifest. Oh, you're manifesting kind of quick. Okay. Yo. Okay, and I was just saying, I don't know if it was in this one or not, but I don't did so many pre uh readings until I forget. However, I was telling you that's how you plant those seeds and thought as well, you know. Keep imagining. The things that you want to see come to fruition. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know why these two things kind of do look alike. A little different, but. I'm just looking at how this thing is wrapped up. It's like you really, something is coming full circle. It's like you wrapping something up. You're going to be happy, too, with gratitude here. And I'll tell you something in the springtime, March 3rd. <laughs> I keep saying March 3rd, y'all. A radical rebirth. The ancestors is definitely working with you. Now, whatever this is, this is going to liberate you. Now, I do see you liberating, you know, those generational curses and things of that nature. Now, I must also say that maybe you need to uh, do what the card says by taking action. To liberate yourself from something. Now I keep saying spy. And I'm just looking at these people in the bushes. Now I'm not necessarily saying that um, 
something's gonna happen to you or anything like that right there. But somebody just may be checking you out. Watching you. Can you see I'm all in the bushes? <laughs> But you are protected. And this is what my yacht is all about. Justice. Balance. Karma. So has anybody been trying to slow you down? It ain't working. I think this is kind of yeah you the star look at that right on liberation with the ace cat whoo how that's going to show up together like that with the uh, queen of wands this ain't that but fire right here attention to it but I'm gonna put it back now you got the justice the judgment the sun card and the hierophant yeah and it fell right on liberation in this so if anybody doing something, but they about to get it. to that um, radical rebirth that's going to bring in these pinnacles now I think you're operating in this energy vibrating high this radical rebirth but we'll see what that seven is talking about but it's something that you don't see look told you somebody gonna come in with some love. Now we did read that. Look, they coming. You got a couple of people coming. <laughs> now that was the queen of what king of all. Now that could have been your other half. Now I'm starting to see this night a little different. Because you know we like to see them as one foot in and one foot out. But if there's somebody new, of course they wouldn't be invested, right? Came right back out on giving and receiving. Like some judgment has been called on your behalf. You don't call judgment on somebody. A trickster spirit. Now that may have something to do with the action. I don't know. Feel like somebody's spying on you. Oh, weirdo. Could just be online.
even think that's you, boo. I just don't. This is somebody else all up in their head. Yeah. Now, if it is you, it's a new beginning. However, I think somebody up in their head because you had a new beginning. Stupid. Yeah, hey, it came out in this position. Like you had the light bulb moment. The star. Now, you might have some type of epiphany in regards to whatever this creative passion is that you're going to liberate yourself from. Dang. The Emperor. On the um, Ace of Pentacles. The Liberation card. Now, I do see this as some type of couple with this dynasticism. <laughs> Oh my god. What is going on here, spirit? Hmm. Now maybe you liberating yourself from um Whoever this is. Could be a father figure. Could be a job. A boss. Now. Wait a minute. Let me continue. Because this could be strategy. call judgment on the relationship. Now it doesn't necessarily have to I keep hearing baby it's cold outside <laughs> God, y'all, so sad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what is going on, Spirit? Show me clearly. <laughs> I just stand it to a cup. <laughs> Let me 
<laughs> Somebody is all in the bushes. What the heck? Oh my god. Look at look at this. That's crazy. Look at all them people. It's like you left a whole town of people behind. That's a lot of people. That's spying and looking at what you got going on. Look at them. All in the bushes and stuff like that right there. Somebody don't want you to go. Yeah, look, all them people. Damn. Yeah, you don't. You had a radical rebirth. You follow the voice of your inner soul. That's what it say. The star. Don't woke up. That's a lot of people. something coming your way that's a dynamite. This is action. Now it did say something about health as well. That's a lot of, look at that. That's crazy. A tower. Now it looked like you was trying your best to give these people what you had to give, but they were you weren't getting nothing back. Yeah, trying to hold on to your energy. Like somebody might be going to damn jail. Like somebody trying to make a run for it. Somebody's paying karma bad. That might be somebody in bad health. Somebody else. No, the energy can go either way. You're protected. We read, it made me read that for a reason. Somebody don't want you to get into another relationship? This is crazy, y'all. I hate to do readings like this. It just let it come out. You get on my daggone nerves. Look, made me look over here. Love and destiny. Hmm. Let me 
say that one more time. Let me say something. Where it go? A period of intense work is necessary to, to complete set to complete something. Set goals now. Set goals and do not hide your great talents. Now I think that's what that emperor is talking about. And it's liberation. Improving your health and your vitality. And it's like somebody don't want you to do that. Oh, let me see what's going on. getting creepy because you got two 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 here four four it's like you got a choice to make just be again you're working really hard you're just looking at this person it could be just you all of this look like you're gonna have some type of light bulb moment in regards to some type of creative project now you could also be um trying to eat healthy and things like that to create longevity Shit. When we get of age, we all do. Listen, <laughs> I know I do. <clears throat> yeah. Damn, that's all the tools, ain't it? Two, 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 two. What in the world is going on, y'all? <laughs> that's all on right there. This is crazy. 
thing. And it's almost like from a lack of balance to making a choice. Whatever this wise decision is, this radical rebirth, I just see this as a lot of work, strategy, continuum. You understand what I'm saying? That phoenix rising from the fire. You know, really balancing, trying to balance things out, but you're working hard and you got it done. Now you got the world out in your hand, boo. So this balance. This is balance right on my eye. Now this communication could just be in regards to some fast action with this victory. Doesn't necessarily have to be nothing bad. Right on, see your seeds grow, springing forward. It's like this is springing forward. But this is, I just think these people just gonna have to watch your glow up. Cause these, this down here is, it's like those four pillars twice. If this don't show protection, I don't know what this. Wow. This is crazy. Stalker. <laughs> they asked us about the face of tower moment. You protected from the tower though. I told you. Somebody do not like that you love yourself. You Left him out in the cold, and I told you I keep hearing babies go outside. <laughs> Closed it out with a lot of people. And the wheels is turning in your favor. And something is about to happen quick. I told you I keep hearing all in a single afternoon. Seeing that car. Karmic completions, downloads, radical rebirth. Epiphanies, new ideals. And they gonna have to watch. Let's pull from these cards. And it's telling to be bold and make the first move. But however, let's see. And then give me a chance to uh your commitment is being tested. Confidence is the key to success. And balance spirituality with practicality. Do not give up. You are so close, my darlings. It's telling you to take time to breathe it out. Now, if this is not what you're doing, this is what you're being called to do. Take action. 
liberate yourself from any codependency. It's telling you to follow the voice of your inner soul and it says, confidence is the key to your success. That's a lot of people for hating on you. Damn. That's a lot of people. Now you got the world card and it's telling you to be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. By doing this commitment is being tested. Again, I think you done closed out a lot of cycles. I told you something's coming full circle. Now, maybe um, your commitment is being tested in regards to uh, addictions and, you know, diet. Could be something just simple as that. You know. It's all about having that sober mind. So you can clear up your thoughts and think clearly. And you have the phoenix right on this nine when I was just telling you about the phoenix rising. And it's telling you to be prepared for the new after a period of crisis. Right on this radical reaper. And I do see a proposal coming. I don't know why these people continue to, to hate instead of working on themselves. Just work on yourself, boo. And don't worry about these people. It ain't the child. It's, they can do what all they want to do. Just as, long, you're, as long as you hit to the, the, the shenanigans, it ain't nothing they can do. All you got to do is keep moving forward. Ain't nothing they can do. They can try and try and try all they want. We'll be seeing at the bottom of the car. Destiny. If that's what you want, and it ain't even have to be a relationship, it show right back up. It could just be your masculine and your feminine coming into your own. And you have the owl here. And this is all about knowledge. And it says there are two there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And those those downloads that spirit is about to give you. And I told you I done seen it. I done did so many readings and that's all they keep telling me. And this is what this year is all about. Upgrades, boo. What you putting out is what you getting back. Yeah. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life coming out in the reading. All the twos right here together like that. With the will and communication on the end. You tapped in. It could have been the two of swords that came out here with the crossroads. But I think this just reflects what you're putting out is what you're getting back and trying to balance spirituality with practicality. Yeah. Being guarded against anything that's negative. Look what's peeking out. Coins. Golds. About to reach them. I see it. 
I see it happening. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. With the number 13, y'all. Oh my God, I've been loving it. And I was just talking all about that projection. This is the highest number of vibration, y'all. And when you see that 1331, or even if you're seeing numbers that's reflecting back to each other, that's just a sign, darling. It's a sign. It's a sign. I see new keys, births, wish, love, flowers. Look at that. Love star. All right, baby. That's your message. Follow the channel so I can keep you updated. Hit that like button, darling.